Hi there, welcome to a video where we revise the binomial theorem in five minutes. This video is purely for revision. If you want to see the more depth tutorials about binomial theorem, go to my YouTube channel. Okay, so what do we need to know for the exam? Well, in the exam, we're given the following uh, formulae in the formula booklet, and these are in the core two section, if you're looking. They are actually in the core two section of the Edexcel formula book. And the top one is uh, the form the binomial uh, theorem you would have used for core two, and it's this one here is the binomial theorem you're going to use, or the form of it you're going to use for core four. And if you have something of the form one plus x to the power of n, where n now can be a fraction, or n in core four can be negative now, then you expand it using the following formula. This can only be expanded if the modulus of x is less than 1, as follows. Okay, So, um, that's what we've, uh, the formula we've got, and these are the type of things we'd expand with it. We'd expand, here's the simplest sort of case we'd expand, 1 plus x to, let's say, the half. Okay, In this case here, n would be equal to a half, and our x is exactly like in the formula here. The second case, the slightly more complicated case, would if we had 1 plus, let's say, 3x to the half, or 1 plus a third x to the half, something like that, where this time we're treating uh, this x here as 3x, and we're treating the x here as a third x. Okay? Um, the, the most complicated case that would come up is if it's of the following form, let's say 2 plus 3x to the half, or 2 plus a third x to the half. Now you'll notice it's not of the form in the formula booklet. This number must, must be equal to 1 here. This number must be equal to 1. And if it isn't, you must make an adjustment so that it is. So in this case here, you would uh, write a big brackets there and keep your half there. Inside, factorise the 2 out of this. So it would be 1 plus 3 over 2x. And all of that gets raised to the half. So it will be 2 to the half and 1 plus 3 over 2x to the half. And this can be expanded binomially because it's of the right form now. And at the end, you multiply it by 2 to the half, which is root 2. Similarly here, you do the same thing here. You would factorise out a 2 there. And you would have 1 plus a third divided by 2 is a sixth. And you'd have the following. So again, you would have 2 to the half, 1 plus a sixth x uh, to the half. And you would you have it in the right form here, so you can expand that binomially. Okay, one of the most important things to talk about here is um, these, this expansion is only valid if this expression here, the modulus of that, is less than uh, 1. So in this case, in case 1, this is only true if the modulus of x is less than 1. You must write this down. This is important. Writing that without explaining what x is, uh, this is valid for is a, an irrelevant statement. Here, in this case here, um, I'm going to do this one up here, the modulus of 3x would be less than 1, and that means the modulus of x is less than a third. In this case here, the modulus of a third x would be less than 1, so the modulus of x is less than 3. And in the two cases we've done here, that do this one first, the modulus of 3 over 2x should be less than 1, so the modulus of x is less than 2 thirds. And this one here, um, the modulus of a sixth x must be less than 1, so the modulus of x is less than 6. Okay, so it's very important you write those down. So for these formulas to work, um, that number must be 1, and the modulus of whatever this expression is here must be less than 1. And that's the binomial theorem very quickly. How does it come up? Three types of questions, it really comes up. A standard binomial, expand the following, like it would be 2 plus 3x to the half, something like that. The second way it tends to come up is it will ask you to expand something like 2 plus 3x to the half, and it will say what's the coefficient 
the number in front of like the x cubed term for example what's the coefficient of x cubed and it also tends to come up uh, after a partial fractions so you split something into partial fractions and then you would use the binomial uh, theorem to write out an expansion up to x cubed or something so that's the binomial theorem in five minutes and I hope that was good revision.